Rosie. Rosie! No, I've got no makeup on! I'm your boyfriend. I've seen you without makeup. Yeah, you're not my boyfriend anymore. Can you let us in, please? Right, you can talk here. All right, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we make up? I'm really missing you, babe. Well, yeah, I miss you too. But you can't be my boyfriend if you're going to be mates with Tommy. Oh, come on. No, I mean it, Jason. He's an absolute slime ball. He's all right. No, he's not. Why can't you see that? There's nothing to see. You've blown this sham thing well out of proportion. Oh, really? OK, fine. We'll see about that then. <laughs> Rosie? That's it. Yeah, stop here. Are you going to tell me what's going on? I just need to check something out. Wait here. But I'm hungry. I've only had two bacon sandies and a chocolate bar today. I'll get you some on the way back. Just wait here. What do you think you're playing at? I'll hear about Joy Fishwick. Please, please. But I went at Joy's funeral. You could have read the name Joy at the victories. That's probably what you fellas do, then go round and rob empty houses. Look, I spoke to you. Do you not remember? Hello. I need help. Well, back up. I've just apprehended a burglar. Look, I was with Fizz. Wavy Red Air. Wavy Red... Ah, yes. Her. Uh, I remember. Good-looking woman. <laughs> oh, sorry, false alarm. So, what are you doing here, anyway? Well, Fizz has been a bit concerned about how Joy died. Oh, I. Yeah, Joy was very special to her. Well, to us both. Sure a game, old bird, with Joy. Went a bit daft towards the end, but I put that down to loneliness. <laughs> Mrs. With your head does that. That son of hers, Colin, he never visited, and he didn't even come to the funeral. That's shocking. So, did you happen to notice anything strange around the time she died? It was me what found her. Really? I brought the door down with a Yoko Gurry. Crump! Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Not at all. I can't guarantee I'll be any help, but fire away. Dennis seems to have fitted in all right. Charm of the devil. Always did, huh? Have he told you any more about what happened? You know, why he ended up on the streets? No. And I've not pushed it. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, how <laughs> wonderful to have lived in Paris. I wish I'd travelled more. Yeah, lived all over me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I hear. Hmm? I was having an interesting conversation yesterday with Sophie. Uh, apparently, she said she, she met you in her soup kitchen for, for, for the homeless. Oh, really? Uh, he, he wasn't working there. Norris. Uh, no, 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 no. He tried. Uh, I was homeless for a bit. I, I'm, I'm not proud of it, but uh, that's life. Uh, what was the cause of your uh, downfall? Uh, this and that. Uh, what, what, what and what precisely? It doesn't matter. He's got a home now. Right. My round um, can't lend us 20, can you? Sure. Good afternoon. Is it? Can I buy you a drink? No, thank you. A dry sherry when you're ready. And I'd like to pay you your £4.50. I beg your pardon? For the fry-up the other day. For the fry... Oh, oh you look very different. <laughs> you look almost... Handsome? human. It's a start. So, can I buy you a drink? Well, maybe just the one. And a packet of salted cashews. Better get back or else we'll be late. God, I ate Mondays. Mm -hmm. Oh, here she is. Not like you to miss a lunchtime drink. Where have you been? A ruby. Madam. Hi. Hi, Rosie. Oh, hi, Tommy. I was hoping that I'd catch you in here. Why? Well, we have a leaking tap and number four. Um, do you think you'll be able to come and fix it? Me? Well, yeah, I mean, I would usually ask Jason, but, you know, we broke up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, why not? I reckon I could do way better. Do you want a drink? 
Uh, no thanks. So, do you think you'd be able to come and fix it? Yeah, sure. Um, don't worry about that point. Oh. <laughs> um, can't really see a leak. Really? That's strange. I could have swear I saw one before. You're a tease, you know that. Have you seen some teeth? Let's go upstairs. Not here. Like your style. You go first. I just want to ring my sister. Make sure she's not coming back. I don't want her walking in on us. Fair enough. Bedroom, second door to the right. Make sure you're ready for me. Don't you worry about that, babe. <laughs> Rosie. Rosie. What the? You flimmy. No, no, Jason. Jason. So it's not a slime ball then. Nice pants. <laughs> You've got ten seconds to tell me what's going on, or I'm really going to lose my temper. All right, calm down, will you? It's not how it looks. Oh, believe me, Jason. It's exactly how it looks. Your so-called friend here, the person that we split up over, came here because he thought that I was going to sleep with him. Is that true? Sort of, yeah. Sort of? You'd have been like a rabbit up a drain pipe. It's rat. You what? It's a uh, rat, not rabbit. I always thought it was a ferret. You shut up. You've got some nerve, you have. I'm sorry, mate, but I thought you and her had finished. Come on, what would you have done in my position? Don't talk about positions. I don't want that sort of talk from you. Just get out, will you? Hey, the door's that way, pal. Oh. Hey, what about my clothes? Tough. But my keys are in my pants. How am I going to get in the house? You can climb down the chimney for all I care. Just do one. If it's any help to you, I see Tyrone going in the Rovers earlier. Oh. My last load off. Cheers. <laughs> Just get out. Well, I mean, if I wasn't 100% sure I was a lesbian before, I definitely am now. <laughs> um, did you really see Tyrone go in the pub? No. I just wanted to prolong his misery for a bit. <laughs>